Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. It's now time for Frontline Business. Despite increased revenue, 138 Student Living Jamaica ended April to June quarter with a loss. Revenue was up nearly $18 million at $234 million. However, it suffered a $16.6 million loss. The Bank of Jamaica BOJ is taking commercial banks and other lending institutions to task regarding lending rates. At the BOJ's quarterly media briefing yesterday, Governor Richard Bow said he is organizing a meeting with lenders to find out why they are not offering loans at lower rates. We feel that there is some inefficiency, some hinder and some blockage in the system. And just this week I've asked to call the deposit-taking institutions, uh, commercial banks, merchant banks, mortgage societies, credit unions, to come and meet with me and talk with me, tell me what they think is the issue, why we're not seeing uh, a better transmission of our policy rates to the consumer. Mr. Ball said the problem may be arising from how Jamaicans bank. He said about 40% of deposits are in foreign currency. There's a large portion of, of, of uh, deposits out there that our policy co cuts don't impact in any way at all. A very large portion of the deposit base is concentrated. Right? It's not equally dispersed, uh, as you would think, between all the DTIs. It's highly concentrated, and that too has an impact on the transmission system. The central bank has reduced its indicative policy rate five times this year, as signaled to commercial banks and other lenders to lower theirs as well. But some have been slow to act. The BOJ again lowered its monetary policy rate on Tuesday, hoping to stimulate a faster expansion in private sector credit, which should lead to higher economic activity. Oshane Masters, Frontline Business. Security researchers at Google have found evidence of a sustained effort to hack iPhones over a period of at least two years. The attack was said to be carried out using websites which would discreetly implant malicious software to gather contacts, images, and other data. Google's analysis suggested the booby-trapped websites were said to have been visited thousands of times per week. Apple told the BBC it did not wish to comment. The security team said they discovered attackers were using 12 separate security flaws in order to compromise devices. Most were bugs within Safari, the default web browser on Apple products. In Friday's trading session, the JC Combined Index advanced by 3,499.71 points to close at just under 517,000. Overall market activity resulted from trading in 73 stocks, of which 36 advanced, 25 declined, and 12 traded firm. The junior market index declined by 26.63 points to close at over 3,000. Stocks advanced for 1834 investments, CAC 2000, Carbon Cement, Carreras, and Elite Diagnostic. Stocks declined for Barita Investments, Berger Paints, Blue Power Group, cargo handlers, and carbon producers. Trading firm were Carbon Cream, Siboney Group, Dolphin Cove, Epley Limited 5% preference shares due 2021, and Express Catering. Sagicor Select Funds Limited Financial was the volume leader with just under 13 million units, followed by Jamaican Tees with just under 10 million units, and Wigton Wind Farm Ordinary Shares with over 3 million units. News in oil. Oil gave back some of its recent gains on Friday, but was still headed for its biggest weekly increase since early July. Brent crude was down 23 cents at $60.85 a barrel. Meanwhile, U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures fell 40 cents to $56.31 a barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. I'm Sasha Lee Hamilton. Pleasant viewing.